very very good another type of yogurt that i really like are these um alpro what are they called alpro so yeah they're like the vanilla yogurts and it's like a more like a mousse it's more pudding than a like a dairy tasting yogurt and these are nice and these are lactose free dairy free and all that sort of stuff so they're really good for you um a really good brand um of dairy free baking is mrs crimble she does the most amazing baking thing she does so much things she does chocolate macaroons coconut rings pancake mix she does flapjack she does uh, rice cakes she does cheese bites she does just a variety of stuff and they do taste different to the normal but they taste amazing still and as a sweet snack oh my god i love these things so that's what the brand looks like and these are the bacon slices and they, these are all gluten free and they're just oh, they're so good i love them um and then it tells you all the ingredients on the back and they taste really nice i really enjoy them I also really got like these and I got these from what's it called Holland and Barrett so this is Sun Starts and these are gluten free, wheat free, egg free and dairy free and these are just the raspberry golden crunch biscuits and these taste really nice and they just taste like normal biscuits completely and they're so nice and they're better for you because they haven't got all the gluten in it and things like that and it tells you the ingredients there so there's not even that much in them really so that's good so I love them as another filling snack, I like the Nairns gluten free biscuit breaks, and these are the oats and syrup ones. And you get four in a packet, and they just look like that. And they taste so good as well, and they're really filling, and they just give you an oomph and keep you going. Also, if you think, oh, I really love my biscuits and all that sort of stuff, there are still options available because Morrison's and other supermarkets as well do a free from range and these are gluten free and wheat free and these are just a packet of digestives. So, yeah, there's not much more to say about that, but digestive biscuits. Now, I have made my own granola and it looks like this. I shouldn't really have them in it because they're massive, but nevertheless, um, granola. So it looks like that and it doesn't actually look that appealing to see but oh my god it tastes amazing so in here there is linseeds chia seeds pumpkin seeds walnuts ground brazil nuts oats uh maple syrup pineapple juice and cinnamon and i sprinkle this on with one of my uh lacto free yogurts i have it with this and sometimes strawberries or pineapple or any fruit that i want i pop in the bowl and it just oh it's a taste sensation i love it and if you'd like me to film me making this or the recipe of how to make homemade granola give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments and i will get a video on how to make this particular granola for you and then pineapple juice and fresh pineapple is amazing and if you've got asthma or any uh, respiratory problems pineapple is great for helping and aiding with that and also it's anti-inflammatory so it's helping your tummy and it's giving lots of good anti-inflammatory properties to it i love this prince's one but pineapple juice really is pineapple juice and it is so good for you and on this diet it is a must so every single night before bed i have a twinings invigorating peppermint tea and i get the naturally caffeine free ones and the ones that are made of all natural ingredients and once you have a few of these you cannot even taste the taste of peppermint because i hate mint i don't even like polos i don't like tic tacs and things like this but these are absolutely fine and these relax the gut relax your whole body and it's a really good thing to have before bed you just put it in and then boiling water and then that's it and they're really really good for you Things like fruit and things like there are certain things you can have and certain things you can't have. For example, uh, apples are on the no list, whereas bananas, grapes, orange, raspberries, strawberries, and things like that are all on the um, yes list that you can have. Same with vegetables, like you can't have peas, but you can have green beans, and you can have carrots, but you can't have broccoli. Things like that. So if you'd like me to do another video letting you know things that you can and can't have on this diet, then let me know. So I hope this has been some use to you. Um, and just to let you know as well, like as I say, I've not been doing it to lose weight or anything. I've been doing it from a health point of view. Um, but in 10 days, I have lost four pounds by doing this 
diet um, and it has improved some of my symptoms and I've had more energy and I've been sleeping better and all that sort of stuff so if you follow a gluten-free diet or a dairy-free diet or have a special um, diet that you've got to follow let me know below because I'd really love to like speak to you and see what you have and things like that or if you want me to do any meal plans or show you what I have for my breakfast and things like that then let me know that as well I would really like to um, show you and help you if I can so thanks so much for watching thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time goodbye